happy to have you here. I'm personally happy to have all of you here. Great to see all these fun and familiar faces and all the new faces. And without further much ado, I would like to introduce you the one, the only, the man of all ages, the chairman of the board, Mr. Chad Boston Bacon. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, fans, friends, and family, welcome to Anna Los Angeles 8. For those of you new to Anna Los Angeles, one of the things that makes our convention special is its size. We're expecting 3,600 total members this year, maybe 4,000, about the same as last year, which is fine with me because we're not trying to be the biggest we can be. We're trying to be the best we can be. This is our fourth year at the Los Angeles Airport Marriott, and we'll be using four floors this year. Our whole convention is still under one roof, not kind of pool deck. We, we looked into roofing the pool deck in case it rained, but it's going to be sunny this weekend, so we decided not to. Uh, seriously, we were going to set up tents and everything, um, but my treasurer wasn't happy with the, the plan, and neither were the cosplayers, so it's dead. But our whole convention is still under one roof. But we've shuffled down a lot of the rooms. So the artist alley is in the lobby across from Starbucks. Yay, Starbucks. Woo! Yay, uh, Starbucks! Is. Our, our host club room, which is for outside host club groups and main cafe groups to do their to do what they do, is up on the 18th floor. Also, there's a couple of non-main cafe host club events going on there, like the uh, taco party. Um, so anyhow, up on the 18th floor. But, but almost everything else has been moved around a, a, a bit. I, I'm glad you found where we put main stage. I almost missed it. <laughs> also, I am pleased to announce that we have signed the contract for years 9, 10, and 11 for this hotel. <laughs> they are contracted to block the, the first and second floors poolside and pool view rooms just for us. The hotel rates will be going up, but only up to 120 by 2015. So I'm really happy with the new contract. More about that, you know, next year. But, but a few notes about our relationship with the Marriott. Please don't break the hotel. <laughs> Stay out of the employee-only corridors, even if you're just trying to find a quiet place to take some photos. If you... Seriously, we, we have photographers in the backstage. I'm not the comedian, I'm just telling you what happened last year. If you need something from the hotel or have an issue with the hotel staff or security, you might want to stop by operations to see if the convention can help. Also, I have been assured by our convention services, uh, Catherine Gray, that yes, paying guests can use their balconies if they're quiet late at night. Uh, we had an issue last year, so we've talked to their security, we've talked to their hotel people, and we've straightened that out. For the past year, we've been going out to some of the other conventions around the region. We ran costume repair station operations at Anna Jam in Fresno and Anime Vegas. Woo! And we supported some cons with memberships as masquerade prices. And I'm pleased to say that we've been given some memberships that we can use as prizes for Anime Kanji in San Diego, and that other convention in Los Angeles, Anime Expo, that some of you may have heard of. So they've given us some ships to give away as prizes. So, you know, we, we appreciate that. We made it out for the first time to AM Squared in Anaheim, Anime Five Cities in San Luis Obispo, Anime Jam in Fresno, and Kentucky Con in Sacramento. And we've sent representatives out of state to Anime Banzai and Nandesu Con. Anime Kanji's second year had a dramatic growth with membership members comparable to our third year. So really, proud of how they're coming along. We're interested to see how DejaCon in Irvine and Northern California Conventions, Anime Destiny, Anime Icon, Anime Storm, and HyperCon and Can You Con handle their events. But there are only so many weekends we can go at. So, but we will be looking at AnimeCons.com slash events to figure out where to go in 2012. So you might do that too. I just, that's what we do, we go out. I am grateful to Thomas Abrahams, Kathy Beckstead, Caitlin Doolittle, Julia Doolittle, Sarah Goldberger, Joyce Hooper, Emerald Ivy, Matthew Lewis, and Kristen B. McGuire, Alec Oreck, and Patrick Saul, and probably a couple other people I've forgotten, for their support on the publicity tour, including going out to represent us at conventions where I couldn't go. So thank you. 
Thank you very much. For 2012, look for us at some of the region's conventions, a different list this time. We'll also be organizing, am I talking too fast? I get nervous, I talk fast. Um, it's like I didn't expect to know how I don't know this. We'll also be organizing some potluck picnics, cosplay picnics out in the park. Stay in touch with us via our website, our Facebook, or cosplay.com for updates. Over 300 volunteers and staff are making this weekend happen. I'm going to try to thank each one of them personally. I've already started. If you get the chance to stop and say thank you to someone who has a volunteer, or ribbon, or staff, why don't you do that? Now, unaccustomed as I am to public speaking, I generally don't do very much of this. As some conventions, uh, that's the chin is the voice of the convention. That doesn't work well for me. I come here and I talk to you at opening ceremonies. I come on stage on Saturday to talk to the masquerade, and I come on stage and talk to you Sunday at closing ceremonies, and one a day is plenty. So for most of the conventions, Dad will be speaking for the convention. Yeah. 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 So Dad is our erstwhile and perpetual Toastmaster with a phone. <laughs> To, to fandom in various ways, not just with running conventions, um, but <coughs> I run conventions, so that's what I know. So, um, are you out there somewhere, Dave? Oh, that's great. What have you just saying? So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, big round of applause for Chad to get all this time out here. <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, your fan guest of honor, old Dave, Mr. David Merrill. Come on out! If I could say a few words, I'd be a better public speaker. Thank you. Um, uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, what is it now? 25 years that I've been involved in Japanese animation fandom. Um, watching Japanese cartoons, collecting Japanese cartoons, writing about Japanese cartoons, uh, drawing terrible fan art of Japanese cartoons. <laughs> Dressing up like Japanese cartoon characters, running uh, fan clubs, loading everything I own into automobiles and driving around the, the South, showing these cartoons to people, um, alienating friends and family <laughs> with Japanese cartoons, um, starting helping to start uh, anime conventions, uh, one of which is uh, still running. Uh, we have some. Anybody in here ever been to AWA? Lloyd, put your hand up. Thank you, Lloyd. Yes. Oh, and someone in the back, too, which is awesome. Um, that's still going on for some crazy uh, reason. I don't know why. Um, basically, um, I've been doing this, uh, wasting my life for this for 25 years. And most places, people would look at me and go, well, Dave, you, this is a big waste of time. But here, here I am a fan guest of honor. <laughs> and for that I thank you. For validating, validating, uh, I am going to be doing uh, several panels this weekend. Um, I'm going to be doing a panel about crazy old spooky Japanese cartoons. We've got a panel about convention war stories, where I can tell you about the time I nearly got arrested at my own convention. <laughs> which was awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm doing a thing, uh, my wife, uh, Shayla Lanoot, is here, and we both do a website called uh, Mr. Kitty. And uh, there's a feature in there called Stupid Comics, which is scans of some of the stupidest comics ever uh, designed to separate children from their allowance. It's a website. And uh, we have a slideshow based on some of the highlights of Stupid Comics, including uh, some American 
rip-off manga stuff and that sort of thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Saturday sometime. Saturday. It says stupid comics in this schedule. Who's, who's got the quick pack? Who's got the quick one in their bag right now? Uh, oh, cool. There you are. Hey! They got another bag of this thing. Uh, Oh, uh, 5.30. This is wrong. <laughs> I'm not on the radio theater. I only do one 5.30. That is 5.30 Saturday. In, in Boston, Atlanta. Wow, this is, this is awesome. No, I think this is yours. No way. I, that's, no. Cost of the chest. Um, anyway, um, thanks for having me. Please come out and, and see all my panels and, and uh, share a good time. Um, and I think already people are seem to be having a good time here. This is already an awesome convention. I'm already learning all about the uh, the ribbons. Um, I, I do have some ribbons. Once ribbons, let me know. You have to come to my panels. Um, over to you. Have fun this weekend. Stay safe. Gotta get a ribbon, gotta get them all, gotta get them all, gotta, oh, sorry, all right. And, ladies and gentlemen, our next is our voice actor, guest of honor, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, you ready on the backstage? Okay. Uh, of course, known with Full Metal Alchemist, Dragon Ball Z, Guitar Hero, oh, Chris! Yeah. Would you like to come up on stage? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Chris! Thank <laughs> you. Hey. So far, I've had a hot dog at Pink's. Uh, I've been to the tar pits. I uh, fell down. There are some made friends of people that were important, but this is going to be the best part ever. I can't wait for this. Uh, how many people, by the way, have never been to a con ever? <laughs> <laughs> so you and just this row right here. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Uh, welcome to your future in con. Condom. Condom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Um, this is a okay. yeah. But I was backstage. Was Lou Armstrong up there? That was a big. That was an awesome. And ah, hey guys. Hey, L. Hell. Hell. Right. Well, that one. Um, well, anyway. Um, yeah. This, I'm looking forward to this weekend. Uh, there is a panel at one o'clock in Boston, Atlanta. Atlanta, Boston, Boston, Atlanta. Over there, so please, it's not in this room, but it's uh, a mm. Okay, it's that thing, and it's going to be my uh, my panel. Looking forward to that. Also, I have some ribbons. You all know about the ribbons thing yet? Or? Oh, of course. So I got ribbons called. Uh, who is familiar with uh, DBZ Abridged? Anybody? Okay. Well, I play the real Mr. Popo, and uh, I have uh, little ribbons that say pecking order. So come see me. It's my friend, so. Uh, and last but not least, your artist guest of honor, creator of Youth Audio Jimbo. Oh, Stan! Hi, Stan, come on out. Konnichiwa, Kakashi was Sakai to Moshimas. Youth Audio Jimbo, the manga card is Dozo Yoshiku. Well, I'm Stan Sakai, I'm the creator of Usagi Jimbo. I've been doing this uh, character, comic book uh, character, for the past uh, 27 years now. And he's been on television, comics, uh, translated in more than a dozen languages. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, with the Ninja Turtles, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I love what I do. I, I have a couple of uh, uh, autograph sessions this, uh, or this weekend. And a panel tomorrow in which I'll say tell you what I do and how I do it, how I create comic books. So if you're interested in creating comics or just uh, creating characters in general, it's uh, what time, 4 o'clock tomorrow or something? Well, I don't have the glasses on. So. <laughs>
uh, I have to be up there. <laughs> anyway, I hope to meet all of you uh, sometime during the convention. So, you know, if you see me around, I, have, I think I'm also in the dealer's room. So please come by. Thank you. One more big round of applause for all our wonderful guests of honor. Thank you for time. Having some fun. There are a lot of reminders to give all you guys. They forgot to give me the notes, so it's okay. Anyway, so, on the first hand, we also want to point out that there's a much larger dealer's room. Uh, a lot of the artists have stuff will be upstairs, the pool side for all the photographs, you know, where the con suites are, you know, everyone be nice to everyone else, no beating anyone up, especially unless it's me and I get my stunt double, that'll be okay. Dash, stand up. This is my stunt double. No, just kidding. <laughs> It looks just, look, when they tell me I'm not Japanese enough for Pearl Harbor, that's the best I'm going to do for a stunt double art. Anyway, we hope you enjoy yourselves. We expect you all to have a good time. Don't forget, there's everything going on. Check the program books. Yes, sir. If you have any uh, glass or uh, latex or trash or anything that's recyclable, please dispose of them properly. Uh, in other words, don't throw them out in the street. Don't try feeding it to the Japanese guys. That's always a bad idea. Uh, so anyway, uh, other than that, you know, the rest of it, if you don't know anything, uh, we're all very friendly. Just say, who, who's never been here before? Raise your hands, honestly. You've never been here before. Okay, so all of you who have been here before, take a look around at all these nice people with their hands raised. There we go. Hi! Glad you could make it. Have some fun. And uh, go forth and have a good time. I can't think of anything else to say than check the program books, check the pocket program, say thanks to all the nice people, especially say thanks to the tech crew who took all the time to put up all this stuff. The house crew, the Indians, all the volunteers, all the staff, the hotel, and our crew. We thank you for being here. We look forward to starting kicking off the year with you guys. And thank you all. And we'll all, he'll talk to you on Sunday. I'll be here all weekend. And go forth and have some fun, kids. Yeah. Oh, for the new people, con, uh, con going, your first con, Con 101, is in the final corridor. It's happening at the same time now. If you've never been to a convention, there's some other people who've been to them and give you some advice. One of them, I do agree with Matt, you really shouldn't have ramen first thing breakfast for morning. <laughs> However, for those of you who are in college, you know this is not always true. Yeah. But for the rest of you guys who are not in there, go, go to the panel, find out if you've never been here. Never. I like ramen. Huh? Shower. No, we said ramen. Oh, they shower. Yes, yeah, showers are good. Otherwise, we'll have to use the pool. That gets ugly. 